Heaven's California Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another FIFA 18 trading-ish footy style video. We've been doing a lot of videos on footies recently and I'm going to keep up the footies videos because I uh, I think it's a good time to, you know, you guys seem to be liking them. Um, you know, I think the video yesterday got like six likes, which is absolutely amazing. So if we can smash another five likes on the video, that would be absolutely insane. But, uh, logged into Ultimate Team yesterday. Don't worry, I did indeed save the captures because we had a few things that were going on. So I saved everything I thought I should save. So I logged. That's Overwatch. That's not relevant. You log into FIFA from yesterday at 6 p.m. and you got this screen. Footies is about the best items of the year. It's all about the best items of the year making a comeback in Ultimate Team. During this period, some of the most popular special I player items released throughout the year will become available in packs again for a limited time and can be earned in SBCs and special weekly objectives. Vote for your favourites from now until August 14th. I come back on August the 11th. So I'll be able to, I will miss a lot of footies um, because I'm away and obviously when I'm away as I've said there won't be any trading videos on the channel. There will be some FIFA content, there'll also be another series I'm running alongside so one day we'll have the other game, the next day you have FIFA. I think it starts the first week you will have FIFA videos on Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, no, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. The next week you'll have it on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm guessing. But um, from now until the 14th, uh, footies nominees with their base stats will be awarded to you throughout the event so you can vote for your favourite footies players. Now hopefully I'll be able to vote for some of my players. Um, I think when we have, I mean, where I'm, okay, basically where I'm going on holiday, obviously I'm not going abroad or anything, I'm staying in this country. Now the place where we're staying says they have free Wi-Fi around the park. Whether that means they actually do have free Wi-Fi and what that signal is about, or what a signal is going to be like, I don't know. I will have the companion app installed on one of my many devices I'm taking along. I'll have the computer with me as well, obviously to put footage that anything I do capture from the uh, the camcorder over there. Um, I'll be taking that as well. But um, yeah, so you vote for the player you want to support by completing the correspondent limited time squad building challenges. The player with the most votes will be available in SBC on the day voting is completed. The final voting SBC will expire on August 14th at uh, 3. What's that? 3 p.m. I, I guess that's Eastern time. I'm not not quite sure. Um, and then we have the next one. Can we go on to the next one from here? No. Let's go on to the next one. Hold up. Uh, then we had this screen right here. We had vote for your favourite CM. So this time we do have the centre midfielder options. We have Tamui Bakayoko. We have Matuidi. And we have Dembele. My card design for footies, or the card design that people have been putting up, was very accurate to what FIFA had done. So that's a good thing. Um, you've received three of the items. You vote for your favourite centre midfielder of FIFA Ultimate Team 18 by completing the corresponding limited time squad building challenge voting available until July 21st and then that's 3 p.m. UTC so that's 4 p.m. UK time currently or British summer time and then stay tuned and winner will be renounced through a special SBC hopefully then is where we'll be able to make our money now in terms of investments I'm still very hesitant in going ham on filling my transfer list with 83s and 84s just because I don't know what EA are going to do okay we don't know what EA are going to do I picked up a couple and I've got a couple flowing around in the club but apart from that I'm going to hold off actually because I'm not actually too sure on what EA are going to do but then we had this next screen here which was uh, footy celebrations are now live. Please enjoy 
an untradeable ultimate pack, a tier 3 award for logging into FIFA Ultimate Team for more than 91 days since the start of FIFA 18. The reward you've been given is based on the number of days you've logged into FIFA Ultimate Team game since launch and can be claimed until the 15th of August, 6pm British Summer Time. So we did go ahead and reclaimed our pack. I think that's something that EA could implement in to the game future, you know, having like a monthly or weekly reward for playing so many games or logging in so many days. But um, I believe this is the, the one we want. So we open our ultimate pack and I see special flares already. I'm thinking maybe a fuck birthday, uh, maybe a, a World Cup. No, it's actually a Path to Glory. And it's Sandro Wagner. <laughs> the most underwhelming card I can see on that pack. Which sucked. Okay. And then I went to see what was in the rest of the pack. Which I'm guessing is this one right here. We open the pack. Why is it not playing? There we go. Here's the Sandro Wagner coming out again. Hit the dab for the Sandro Wagner, and the rest of the stuff we got, we got a Ray Bitch, and then we got all these trash cards that we'll probably just throw into SBCs. We actually got Berkey and Cahill untradeable, which is alright, and that was basically all I did on FIFA yesterday, so I thought. I'd come and make this video. I didn't want to record it yesterday because, I don't know, it just didn't feel like I had that much content to do. Now, there is something else that we can do, or what EA have thrown up at us. Uh, these is what's in the packs right now. So we got Ultimate Scream, Wants to Watch Summer, PTG Autumn, and E Team of the European Team of the Tournament players in packs until July 23rd. So... That's nice. We get this premium SBC for the Andres Iniesta. 96 rated Iniesta, 90 pace, 94 shooting, 80, uh, 98 passing, 98 dribbling, 70 defending, and 72 passing. And we can. It's got four hours left on the SBC. No, I won't be doing the SBC because I think it is extremely overpriced uh, for what it is. It hasn't really raised the market at all. Even though you know to complete the Iniesta, you need the Barcelona players. The Spanish players, you need the 85 rated players, and you need the 84 rated players. Hasn't really affected their price. I mean, we got a few on the, the transfer list that we can have a look at. But uh, I don't think it's affected their price at all. The SBC cost right now is around 300,000 coins from scratch. Now, there was a loan variant, and of course I always get the loan, well I try to get... The loan variant of all these cards. So let's have a look. Let's go into my club. Let's go to do, 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 special low to high. I'm guessing it's going to be under. We do have quite a few. There's some of the pink cards. There's the Matuidi there. We've got the uh, Dembele there as well, which is nice. We got all these special cards. I don't think I've ever had this many special cards in a FIFA man. There's our Lingard that we've had. Uh, here he is then, so, Iniesta, uh, 5-7, you know, 4-star, four 4-star, four everything looks good so far, yeah, looks good, and then, boom, what lets him down? Stamina, 72 stamina for a 280,000 coin player of coins that you're never going to get back is not worth this card, we have 20 loan games on him. Pretty sure yesterday that was only 5, but we get 20 now. We get to play with this Iniesta for 20 games. That's half a foot champion season. Half a foot champions week if you wanted to use him. So I just go ahead and get the loan version. You only need an 80 rated team with 60 chemistry. It's easy enough. Now, obviously it wouldn't be a trading video if we didn't have a look at some stuff that we can trade with. Um, I think I might have picked up some stuff. Yes, yeah, so we have the Carvalho still. Floating at around 1.2k. I'm not sure if he's gone up at all. Um, to be honest, uh, the Berkey at 2.5. Not sure if he's really gone up either. Probably not too much. Uh, we got the Stefan de Vries. We got him for 3.3k. I thought that was a, 
a pretty good deal there actually seeing as most of them were about 4,000 coins and they still are about 4,000 coins but we'll just have a look at some of the players that we did pick up then and um, we'll see if any of them have actually risen in price because theoretically you'd think 84 rated requirement in an SBC probably should go up but I don't think they have I think they have pretty much stayed the same here's one then Raheem Sterling we picked him up at 5,000 coins uh, again, so around 5,000 coins. Uh, let's see who else. We got Mustafi. We picked him up for 4.3k. He sat at a, probably around the same if you went down 6k. So a little bit of fluctuation, but again, I picked these up in the evening. There we go, 5.9. It's starting to come down. Uh, let's have a look at this one right here. Jonas, we picked him up. Um, he's still going for that amount. Yesterday, we, we just didn't really see that many... I just don't think we've really seen an increase, because I don't think anyone has that amount of coins to invest into that SBC one player right now. Um, when we can have a look at Mattia Perrin. He was at 3.7, 4K. His price hasn't changed. Uh, Adu Rees, 3.8 on him. I mean, he's slightly more... No, look, he's... Honestly, not that more expensive, you know, 4.4 .4 there. Um, probably still around the same. So this SBC really hasn't had too much of an effect on um, the market right now. I think we might have some new objectives. Oh no, they're refreshing. Hang on. A day and four hours. I'm pretty sure they've been pushed back. I didn't think they never. I didn't think they used to be refreshed on a Friday. I thought it was Thursday, but um, this is still World Cup stuff, so that's really nothing too new there. But um, yeah, this is the start of Futties. Then again, we can't really invest in much. I mean, it's interesting to see what price these Alves cards are sat at. Still, I mean, they're still at around six thousand coins. If I see them at around the six k mark today. I might just go ahead and pick one up because it's more than likely that they might be needed for some sort of SBC. They're a good money maker, but they're also quite high. You have to think of the profit margin. Um, I mean, we'll have a look at some of these 85s. Did these go up at all? Again, not really. Still sat around the same. I mean, they, they might have gone up a little bit, but I don't think they've gone up enough to go on warrant selling them. You know, the Ruffier is maybe at 9,000 coins. I might go ahead and take 2,000 coins on him, even though we didn't. if we'd bought him, obviously, we would have taken that. Otamendi hasn't really gone up. I was that my phone buzzing off? No, it wasn't. It was a chair. Um, Otamendi, again, hasn't really gone up. So, so far, there is no market change. Um, the market is still the same. We're still waiting on the SBC to, to go through. It expires... Um, I think pretty sure it expires tomorrow at 6 p.m. I'm guessing when that's the the, the most voted one comes through. I'm guessing it's going to be Bakayoko. I think Matuidi will probably finish last just because people would rather use the Matuidi and throw him into an SBC. Again, the pink card's cool, um, but you know, for people who are proper hardcore trying to make the money, that'd be that. But I get, I, I'm not really bothered about making too many moves um, right now in this current state you know I don't think there's anything interesting to see what Herrera is going at I know we picked him up for 2.5 K he's, he's currently set at 5,000 coins I think Herrera's a decent buy um, if you were taking the risk and investing in the 84s but honestly I mean definitely stop your club to them because right now they're probably gonna be the cheapest they're probably gonna be um, I mean, unless the cycle changes somewhat. I mean, I'm guessing this is going to be the cycle. We're going to have a, a player that comes out for two days. The player's going to come out. We've got nine positions. I'm pretty sure it said there are there are nine positions. And actually, I'm pretty sure EA put a post out on their, on their website. Let me have a look, actually, because I might be able to read that off to finish this one off. Uh, FIFA 18... Footies. Here we go. FIFA Ultimate Team Footies. So, 
Um, I'm pretty sure it's all the. Is it all the same? That. Okay, no, it's a bit more of a. In scheduled. Um, so yeah, what they're basically doing is bringing back some of your player items and SBCs. Uh, as brand new content to help upgrade your squad. Um, you know, we're gonna have more SBCs coming. Uh, old SBCs. We're gonna have reward packs. Join the footies, players who log on to FIFA Ultimate Team be rewarded with an untradeable pack. Um, throughout footies, throughout the footies, players will also receive a weekly reward, untradeable, based on their activity during the event. Again, something that I think this is it's difficult for EA because um, obviously they know that people are going to go away, but what they don't want to do is leave it till like September when the game's done with. You know, so yes, you'll miss out on content if you're going away, but you'll still get some of the content, which is alright, okay? I don't think I'd be able to afford all the footies players, to be honest, so maybe that's a little bit better for me. Um, we're going to get footies players. So, um, there are nine total categories for footies. Goalkeeper, left back, centre back, right back, centre mid, left mid, right mid, striker and fantasy positions. A winner for one category will only be available through the completion. Oh, I'm guessing the, the category. So there's going to be one category where the it'll only be available through a weekly objective. No to the nominees. Yep, yep, yep. We have end of era SBC items. One of the most popular foot events is back for this year's footies. With a twist, end of era SBCs are returning. But they aren't just for recognising players that are retiring. Instead, this year's end of era players are simply being honoured. Uh, players being honoured for their legacies at the clubs that made their careers. Some players are retiring, but others are just simply moving on. It's literally end of an era for those club legends. Are they going to have Ronaldo? Is Ronaldo going to get an end of era? Because he spent nine seasons at Real Madrid. I mean, Michael Carrick, I'm guessing Carrick should get one. I mean, he spent ten plus years at Manchester United. It'd be a shame if he didn't. Um, join us in celebrating these players as they receive end of era items or upgrading ratings and add them to your squad by completing their limited time SBC. Every player will also get a loan item that can be obtained by completing an SBC with lower requirements in case you'd like to try out the players first. Not that I want to try out the player, I just know that there's players if I wanted to buy one that I would and I'm not really looking in buying anything for my team because I'm done with my teams, you know, I don't really don't really care for them anymore I just want to make as much money as I can really but um, I'd like to try and hit the five mil but I just don't think it will happen um, unfortunately I just don't think there's enough time in in FIFA for me to do it I'm pretty sure if footies is only running until the 14th of August then they've basically got a whole month to fill with um, content I'm guessing their new content is going to be uh, the team of the week's going to be back because the new seasons are starting up. But um, yeah, in terms of a market update for today, um, there isn't really much. What we could see, definitely keep an eye on the prices because these promo packs are, are going to expire. Um, when the promo packs expire, and I'm guessing the promo packs have kind of filled some of the players back onto the market as such because people are knowing that they can get you know, a good amount of cards. Um, when the Iniesta SBC goes down, which is by the time this video goes out, it won't be there anymore, it'll be gone. Um, definitely take a look at the, the prices of some of the players, at the 84s, because I think they could go down, because they're not required for anything anymore, and they've had a bit more of momentum onto the market, people opening packs. So, I definitely think that's something to look out for, but in terms of moves today, I'm not making any major moves. I haven't. We haven't got any extra information. Um, again, if you see any good deals on some 84 rated players, then definitely pick them up. I'd say 83 to 85 is definitely the move, depending on, you know, I don't know how much you want to go and invest, whether you're going to go and glitch it all and put them all into your waiting to be claimed items or whether you want to fill your, fill your boots or your transfer list. Uh, what I wouldn't want you to do is fill an 84 get a whole transfer list of 84 rated and then they put the team rating at an 83 or 82 because they just won't really go up. It was very intermittent with FIFA with um, Team of the Season which is why I'm a little bit reluctant. You know, we know they're gonna, it's going to happen nine times at least. 
Um, hang on, no, no, no. Goalkeeper, left back, centre back, right back, centre mid, left mid, right mid, striker. Yeah, it's going to happen at least nine times um, around. I'll be able to do a couple of them, I'm hoping. Um, you know, maybe get a couple of footies players just for a momentum, but um, or memento, sorry. But um, <clears throat> yeah, it's it's different. Um, it's nice to have something. I can't wait to see what the weekly objectives are. I want to try and maybe do the weekly objectives. Don't really want to do squad battles. Don't really want to do score a goal with an icon in four separate squad battle wins. Don't really want to play 12 matches. I don't really want to score five high crosses. And I don't... I mean, what's the point in that? Score four goals from high crosses to earn a Hunter Chemistry style, which is untradeable. If you want a Hunter Chemistry style, you could just go and buy one. For four or five thousand coins and save yourself the save yourself the aggro, honestly. And then you have to play five online season matches for a, a two rare player pack. Definitely interesting to say the least. <laughs> but um, I might try and have a look at having a look at the gander at um the what are the marquee matchups this week? We got City Dortmund, Bayern Paris. Seattle Whitecaps and Sevilla Benfica. 80. Uh, no rating requirement on that one. No rating requirement on that one. 78 rated on that. And no rating requirement on that one either. So, probably two very easy, uh, very easy marquee matchups for a 50k pack. I might actually have a look at doing that now, just to end this up actually. So, I'm going to take a jump cut. We're going to go get the marquee matchups done and throw it in for the OGs who managed to get to the end of the video. So guys, just looking at some of these, completing some of this, you know, I need a Manchester City player because I'm not using an 84 rated in there. Um, I think this is some good sniping filters, to be honest. Very good sniping filters. You know, 4.1k. We'll buy Danilo. <clears throat> Let's just have a quick gander then. See, if we. I mean, you're probably not going to snipe anything because I just don't think anyone's just buying any packs to list anything on the market. But let's just say you want to sell it at 4,000 coins, you'd need to get it 3 7. But they do come up, but I'm not really interested in sniping either. I'm not, you know, it just doesn't really interest me at the moment. But there are, there are sniping fields out there that you can try and do. If you have any Manchester City gold players, then. You know, could have made a bomb from that. Mm. So, guys, so let's buy a Munich one. Honestly, I'm just going to throw the Sanjo Parker in there because I really can't be asked to, to, to buy a, a Bayern player, and I don't really want Sanjo Wagner in the team either. He's just uh, he's just sat there. You know, I'm never going to use him, so I might as well put him to good use and throw him in because I, I'm guessing that the, the players are just going to be ridiculously overpriced but we might as well use Marquinhos there as well because I'm pretty done with him as well we'll use Ariola. why not the team chemistry shot anyway there we go then there's that one done Bayern versus Paris we get a premium players pack I think that said there now we have Sevilla and Benfica I mean if you're a sniper then this is this is great times for you I mean I've kind of drifted away from sniping just because it just there isn't enough momentum on the market anymore for for snipers for me personally. Um, I just don't see it feasible to to actually get anything sniping because for the time you're sat there, you're just mashing your A button for no apparent reason and just not really doing much. You know, I just think there's more productive times. You know, go and go and play Fortnite or something. Don't waste your time trying to get better players here it's it's over okay the game is screwed um, but we'll take this center back here we'll go Samaris there this will be a very easy to throw together uh, crap shouldn't have done that I'll go back to L you get a nose do we have anyone yes we have Aluello uh, we just need AC chemistry really so do I have anything to put in here yes we do we'll use record we don't need to use Ricardo, we can use very low rated players here. 
Uh, we can use this guy, we can use the bronze guy if we really have to. Um, as long as we only have a couple from the same nation, it's fine. We'll use this guy, he's a different nation as well, why not? And you know what, screw it, we'll just use all the Ganos players. We'll use Toza and then Paulinho. Go! There's that one done, that one we get a Electrum players pack thing that was, and we have Seattle versus Whitecaps, either Seattle Sounders or Whitecaps player. Um, let's go over to the MLS, let's have a look for where's Whitecaps, is Whitecaps, we don't have any Seattle Sounders, we have a couple here, so we'll throw them in, why not, I mean, if I don't get any of these players to replenish, then honestly I'm not going to be bothered you know this is the end of FIFA just throw all your cards into SBCs and stuff you know footies is the last promo that's how I see it footies is 100% the last promo we're not going to get any more promo so any silver players and stuff you can sell on then sell them any bronze players sell them and then throw them all in get as many golds as you can and just enjoy your last few day few months on FIFA man that's all I recommend um, we'll go centre mid Obviously, we don't want Seattle Sounders. We've already used all them. MLS, we'll do Menunyan in. We'll go for this guy here. We'll go for Salmus. Why not? Cracking name and all that. We'll go for Russell, the legend himself. Got no left backs. We can just throw a centre back there, though, can't we? We'll use Forty Boy. Why not? Forty Boy can go in there. Right backs, we'll use Ramos. And then we have the goalkeeper. Players from the same league, we can only have three. If it had told me that before, I would have very much appreciated it. But it didn't. It didn't tell me that before, which is why I'm a little bit annoyed. I'm a little bit annoyed that it didn't tell me that before. We need 85 chemistry. And we don't really have that great players. I'm going to get rid of him as well. Okay. So we need, this one needs a little more crafting maybe. Do we have any Bosnian and Herzegovian sentiments? We do, he's from Italia 2, so we'll go over to Italia 2, Kashamba. We'll throw in Boggetu, he will get a link there. We will put in this, no we'll put in the, the bronze guy because he's bit better there. Now do we have any Norwegian, not special, um, do we have any N N N N N N N N N N Norway, here we go, do we have any Norwegian right backs? I thought not. I gathered as much, but he's already on full chemistry. Do we have a Bosnian CDM? It would very much help me if I did. No. Do we have any Bosnian player? Yes, we do. Look at that. We have... Let's use this guy, because he's going to get six chemistry regardless. And he links to the Serie A, which is really nice. So we'll go... We'll Serie A centre-backs. be great if we had a Italian one. Anyone else? Anyone else? We have Gambarini. That's awesome. We will throw in a... Do we have an Italian goalkeeper that isn't from Italy? Ah, look at that. Perfect. Manone goes in there and then we can have a right back from the Calcio A. We can use Adjapong. Where's the four? Oh, we can't use him. Um, do we have any Italian? Let's just have a look on right backs. Let's just go low to high. Uh, this looks like a good one right here. Sakai, does he get the cam? Yes, he does. Fantastic. So that is going to be our teams there. And a slightly longer one today, but <clears throat> you know, it all balances out. Um, we have some packs to open. Always used to do marking matchups, and I just kind of stopped and the players are actually very very the packs are decent this time around so and there's a lot of special cards floating about so 
I definitely think this is, I mean, it's slightly expensive because you have to to buy the others. I mean, I don't know how much Footfin is quoting the marking matchups at. Let's have a look. But Ben is quoting marquee matchups at 60k. So are we going to get 60k's worth of players back from that? That, no we're not. But I'm hoping that the other packs we should do. We're going to do the election players pack first. Because they're probably not going to get anything too great from this. We actually get a board, which is... Oh, we get an inform. Look at that. French striker. Is this... The new informed Alison Drini, holy shit! Wow! What a show! <laughs> we get an informed Alison Drini, that is very, very nice indeed. Um, look at this guy's stats, he looks like a monster, man. Look at them, I'd be surprised if he's not worth a bob. Oh my god. Oh my god! We just got Inform Alison Drini who's selling for 170k. Never gonna use Alison Drini in my club, so I'm selling him for 165. Okay, so in that case, I think Waki Matchups is definitely worth it. Because that was a, a very insane pack for me. That is basically going to pay off for my drafts that I'm going to do for pre-recording stuff, which is nice. Uh, gold players pack. Come on. What's this? An inform? No, it's just a board. Portuguese. Goalkeeper. Patricio. Rui Patricio. Rui Patricio. God damn it. Uh, we get Lasana Diara as well. Yeah, that's good. That's good. We're, he'll definitely... Uh, we'll put him on the transfer list because he might be worth a few bob in a couple of days. Now, we'll do the premium gold next and we'll do the rare gold players pack. That should be somewhat pleasing. Is this an inform? No, it's only a board. Uh, we get Dutch... Dutch mate. Talking to my Dutch mate. Fucking Baz Dost, mate. Baz Dost. What a legend. Legendary, Richarlison, brilliant, fantastic. Uh, but Baz Dost, again, might be worth a few bob in a couple of days. And then we'll do the big one, the rare players pack. This is probably where we'll get Thimp in. I'm hoping that we don't. <laughs> I called it. I called it. <laughs> uh, we get the best player from one of the worst packs, basically. There we go, he sold. Jeez. We know that Danny Rose might be worth a few bob in a couple of days as well. We'll discard that. We're up to 500k, so as well as getting a nice footies market update, you've also got yourself a bit of a nice pack opening there with a bit of a nice Alison Drini there as well. So that is absolutely fantastic. But that is where we are going to end this one then, guys. If you did enjoy, then remember, you guys know what to do. You leave a like, you drop a comment, you drop a sub, and you turn your notifications on. I've been David. This has been FIFA 18. Another cheeky little market update, a little bit longer, but that's fine. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay awesome, stay happy, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.